What Baylor accomplished last season, 10 victories, a bowl victory, a first ever victory over Oklahoma, and a Heisman Trophy, few ever thought could be accomplished in one season, let alone a single magical season. But going into this season, everyone is wondering, can the Bears maintain that kind of winning level in their football program, or will the fairy tale end with a Humpty Dumpty fall? We're extremely excited for the opportunity to prove ourselves, you know, because that's kind of the way we feel as a team and as a coaching staff this year that, you know, we've got a lot to prove. Perhaps the biggest challenge for Baylor is replacing last season's Heisman Trophy winner. Senior Nick Florence steps in at quarterback, replacing Robert Griffin III. We know what Nick can do. He can, he's going to execute. He's going to get the ball to the playmakers, get it to people's hands, get it in our hands. You know, he's going to command his presence, and he's going to execute. And that's the best thing he can do in Coach Brown's offense is execute. Our offense has evolved even with Griffin under it for three years, and so just the nature of what we do and so it'll continue to evolve. I mean you look across the board our receivers even our tight ends I mean I think we have the best in the nation. I mean they know what they're doing they have all have a ton of experience. Baylor's 10 win season was built on the strength of a record-setting offense but if the Bears are going to maintain that level of success a defense that ranked 116th in the nation will have to make some big strides. As a unit we was very young last year and now we know what other teams are trying to do with us and we're getting a, a greater feel for what, what everybody's doing and, and not just your position. You know, the fact I told the kids, you know, the fact that we've got basically 10 guys that played a lot, if you look at it, in our six game win spree, our two inside tackles, you know, played a lot of football. So one of the things I say, you know, and I, was, I became critical of myself. I became uh, too uh, uh, predictable because I, d I didn't feel like we could do certain things. And that's, um, you know, sometimes it's, it's good to know not only what they can do, but what they can't do. I year we were trying to get in the groove of what Coach Benny wanted. We were trying to figure out what kind of coach he was, what he was expecting of us, and he was trying to get a feel for us. And so now, I mean, we know each other, we know what he wants, and we're ready to roll. Doing a little bit more thinking instead of just playing, where versus this year we'll be just, we'll be playing. We won't have to think nowhere near as much as we were doing last season. In his fourth year in Waco, Art Bryles led Baylor to one of the greatest seasons in school history. Now comes the hard part, keeping the Bears near the top of the Big 12 standings. For the Big 12 Digital Network, I'm Wendell Barnhouse.